Hi everyone, this is a short video of the modifications that I made to my V262 quadcopter, my WL Toys. Well, as you can see, it does not have the styrofoam uh, blade protectors on it. That came off quite quickly. And I replaced that just simply with this uh, it's a pop bottle, the bottom of it. I cut it off uh, and with a, with a, a hole punch, a single hole punch. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can, yeah, you can see it right there. I cut holes. Um, I laid this on, on top of it, on top of the quad cop. The first I marked it with the magic marker. Then I just went up about a quarter of an inch and punched a hole. And then I cut a little, cut a little slot right underneath the hole to the bottom here so that it would snap on there. And then I uh, made it so that the, uh, the antenna, let's see if you can see it right there, I put a hole, that stuck out. This is just something I got from a seminar I went to that they had on the tables and I cut the head off. Anyway, so um, that's that. Um, these props have been balanced and I did it with tape, but you can see a little piece of, you can see them, yeah, you can see the tape on the top right here. Right over right here. Um, the next thing I did with it, uh, because these engines, these motors get hot, I cut the top off there with a, a Dremel type tool, uh, so that the downdraft from the from the from the propellers would help to keep it cool. And that does work, by the way. You can also buy these little you know, like fins that go on there, but I thought this would be uh, better. Let's see the back of it. Uh, here's the back of it. Here I got a couple of these dots here for orientation purposes and also on each on each leg here uh, you can see one right there there's two of them there all right and then from there uh, I modified the landing gear now this landing gear as you can see it's black and I got this and let me show you from I went down like Home Depot or something like that and I got these um, let me back up so you can get a seat of it this is part of a, a fence that you can put around your flowers or something. And there's other ones that hook on both sides here and it folds up. And I ended up just cutting off a length of it, you know, like here and here. And then I, um, but I didn't, when I cut it off, well, let's say I cut this whole piece off here. I left about a half inch here. Then I stripped the rest of it. This is kind of a, a hard rubber that's on there. And I left about a half an inch so that, um, I could stick them in, and you can see right here, this quadcopter has two of these on each side. It looks like it, it, the V26 might have at some point um, had a landing gear or something you could buy for it. Anyway, leaving just enough of that white stuff on there. I'm going to back out a little bit here. Uh, and then I put a little bit of tape around each end of it and I was able to slide in there with a little bit of firmness. And so I, I, I just cut the rest of it, bent it, etc., uh, to what I needed. And um, right here on the bottom, you can see there's some like little plastic stuff on it. Now that I got, here I'll show you that. I got these. And I was using these to help, uh, for another project that I had. And all it is is this little, I guess you use it to you squeeze on it here and you pick up solutions and whatnot. And anyway, I cut the end off here. Cut that end off, then cut some more off, then just sort of spread it around the, around the, uh, the bottom of the leg. A little bit of a cushioning, I guess you could say. I don't think you really need that. All right, the next thing is these motors, let's see. This one's looking right at you. This motor, um, and all of them, I removed the bushings, the brass bushings, and I put bearings in there, which quieted it down, I must say. Not, not a tremendous lot, but it did make, make it a little bit quieter. I then had to make a, a camera mount. Now, this camera mount, let's see. The bright pink things, those are simply earplugs. And then... The, and then this first 
Let's see here. Yeah, this first piece, this is a piece of card, like a plastic, like a credit card. And so is the other one beneath it. And what I simply did was I cut holes, uh, four of them, in this plastic here, right there. And I, since those earplug thingies are they're foamy, and I pushed them up a certain, just I made sure that all four of them stuck out the same, and I put a little bit of instant glue on it to keep them in there. And I did a similar thing with the other card piece on the bottom right here and stuck the other end through, well, which you can see right, right there. And those are all equidistant also, although not entirely as you can see because it's at an angle. So I needed it to be facing down. And it actually wasn't wide enough of a face down. So I got, this is a little piece of styrofoam here that I angled. And then this whole thing is kept on by this rubber band right there. And then the, um, this is an 808 camera. The 808 camera is kept on by this rubber band. And this works really, really well. Again, this particular quadcopter uh, battery, I can take it out. There is enough room. I cut a little slot in here. Uh, you can see right there, a little slot. So the battery will come out. But I leave, again, I leave the batteries in there and I charge them uh, with the battery in. And it, it, when it's sitting down being charged on the bookshelf, there's tinfoil underneath that in case something does happen. And that's, and that's uh, primarily it. Uh, oh, these little things right here. This is um, some stuff that glows in the night. You know, it's got day glow stuff on it. So at nighttime, uh, it glows a little bit up in the air. And that's pretty cool. Uh, but this is, I call this the bomber. This does uh, most of my heavy lifting. I have a Mobius. Uh, it works with a Mobius as well. Although it's heavy, you can definitely feel the difference in the control. But it works really, really well. Uh, uh, I've used it for most of the videos that I've done. <clears throat> I've done with this uh, particular quadcopter. Uh, a little more fragile, of course. I have burned a motor or two out of it, but it's really easy uh, to put them back in. You know, and if you got uh, halfway decent skills with a uh, soldering iron, it's not that difficult at all, really. All right. Well, I hope that uh, inspires you to do some new things with your V26 and. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to post it below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.